Hello 2D game lovers alike, my name is James and today I'm still ill but I wanted to really talk about this game that I found on Kickstarter. So this game is heavily inspired by Terraria, Spelunky, Binding of Isaac and it has a perfect little twist on the games that we love. So let's talk about it a little. Moon Man is an adventure game starring a smiley green moon man. It is set on a nocturnal planet orbited by many moons. Every new game generates a unique world containing towns, forests, tombs, islands and alien landscapes. The goal of the game is to find several moon fragments that have fallen from the sky. These fragments add to power a giant star machine that will bring light back into the world. And that's actually written by them, that wasn't actually written by me. Uh, I'm just reading this directly off the Kickstarter page, I'm just insanely intrigued. So I went and did a little background research, you know, I went and checked out the uh, the actual guy behind the guy who makes the game and I was looking at his old videos on his YouTube channel and it actually has a video of the work in progress from about two years ago and I just wanted to show a side-by-side -side comparison. You know, the original video, it's very uninspired, it's, it's a work in progress and then you look at the new one and it's just absolutely amazing. I really like the art style that he's taken for the game and it just intrigues me. So this game is on Kickstarter, I'd really really like it if you guys could go and check it out, maybe back it. You know, I'd really like to see this game be made, it is looking pretty awesome. The thing that I like about it is that it's not just your standard Terraria sandbox clone, right? It's not just your 2D Minecraft. What it is, is an adventure, so each game is actually around 30 minutes long and your goal is to get to the end of it, I guess. So it's just like Spelunky in that sense, you actually have an end goal and each time the adventure is a little bit different. I really like this, however I imagine that it would need lots and lots and lots of variation if you're going to keep playing the game over and over and over again. With these games that, you know, have procedurally generated random worlds and stuff, they really need a little bit of uniqueness each time you play, otherwise there's no point. I imagine they'll take an approach like Starbound, where the art style may change, or they'll take an approach like, I don't know, maybe Binding of Isaac, where you get different items. Either way, I'd really like to have a little go at this game, I'd really like to try it out. So there you go. So thank you very much for watching this, my name is James, I always like to share games that I think have amazing potential, and I've done this for quite a few games like Planet Centuri, I did it for Starbound back in the day, I did it for Edge Space. I really like to promote these games because they're just a work in progress and these people behind them have put in so much love and care into them and it just makes it worth it. So please take a little bit of time out of your day, go check it out, have a look at some of the amazing gifts. The trailer was amazing, it really got me hyped and go Moon Man. <laughs> Thank you for watching, my name is James, sorry for my ill voice, peace.